Online social networking platforms, such as Facebook, were designed to connect people around the world. Sharing photos, memories and updating each other with personal information were some of the activities most common to the site. However, with recent activity in the region, particularly in Tunisia and Egypt, usage of the site has become more political, with communities using it to arrange mass gatherings and demonstrations. If you take Tunisia and Egypt as examples, just before the events in Tunisia, more of the usage was basically social in nature, as with most countries around the world. It has been used to organize some uh, social movements related to organizing, but when the political events or the civil movement started in Tunisia, we witnessed a huge shift from mainly social use of the Facebook into more political in nature. The same trend happening today in Egypt. It seems that people, when there is a lack of an entity that organizes their life with a critical mass of users available on social media in some Arab countries, they were able to do the jobs that the government was uh, supposed to do. The users of the social media in the Arab countries have, uh, seems to have the ability to organize themselves in many ways that we weren't thinking that are possible. Despite these uses, some feel that the social networking site does pose ID security issues. It's very addictive. People just get too used to it, too glued up to that. And I guess, you know, it takes up a lot of your time. You see people, you see students on Facebook when they're supposed to have a test the next day. Sometimes I find myself sitting on Facebook just or with MySpace for about two to three hours. And um, I look at the time and I ask myself, you know, it's, it's kind of a waste of time. People misuse it. Like, they to create some bad groups or offensive or sometimes it's hate out of hate. Anyone can copy paste your picture and make a fake fake account and like post it and say bad things about you and if you report also abuse. they, they abuse it okay. Then later the person uh, makes another account with new ID and can do that thing again. There are many fake accounts, fake people add you up, they take the pictures, they add another fake account so it's usually not private, that's not personal stuff you know, you, you don't have privacy for it. The internet is a tremendous powerful and positive thing uh, but there's been a lot of publicity recently about the misuse of it um, unwanted uh, material being downloaded and, and so on so what we would always uh, warn our students is that uh, to be careful we do remind them about the dangers of things like Facebook there are a staggering 21.3 million Facebook users in the Arab world a huge increase of 78% during 2010. In the UAE, the Facebook penetration rate is 45%, compared to an internet penetration rate of 75%. With Facebook gaining almost 9.6 million new Arab users in 2010, it seems that the social networking site is here to stay. Alice Johnson, Gulf News.